We're back with Max Botticelli, President and CEO of University Health Alliance. You mentioned charitable giving. What other organizations is UHA involved in as well as yourself? Well, we try to, uh, most of our efforts are aimed towards the, the um, health care uh, charities. Uh, we support the American Cancer Society, the American Heart Association. Because we, ha- we um, uh, insure uh, a couple of hotels on the Kona Coast, uh, we became aware uh, that one of the doctors in Kohala uh, that was a physician for many of our members was thinking about leaving uh, her practice uh, just because the, the, uh, uh, of the pressures of her practice. And uh, so we got involved with uh, Hamakua Coast Community Health Center and, and uh, who was thinking of, of putting a community health center up in Kohala. And... Uh, um, was able to to uh, give them some seed money, so they were able to start a community health center. And this doctor then began to work for the community health center, so it it all worked out really well. We're we're, we're really quite proud of that. What I'm really impressed is, um, you know, you're a proponent for health care. You know, bef- we were talking about before you came for this interview, you were exercising, and um, so can you tell us a little bit about your hobbies doing that? Well, I've just started exercising, actually, uh, oh, maybe about six months. Uh, but we, we started a, a wellness program in our own company. And I decided, well, I, I guess I have to uh, be a, uh, uh, a good example. So, so I started uh, working out. And, but I like to golf, too, and I do that once or twice a week. So what does your workout consist of? Well, I, I uh, work on the elliptical machine, you know, sort of cardio uh, exercise. And, uh, and then uh, I uh, lift a few weights and so how do, long some, do some morning? stretching exercises. Uh, about an hour, three times a week. Have you seen any difference in your work performance or yeah, production at all? Yeah, you bet. Are you able to share with us um, or inspire other people why you feel that you know, health care and taking care of your employees' health is important for productivity and efficiency in the workplace? Well, I, th- I think um, we started out thinking that employers w- would have some influence with their employees. And if we wanted to improve our members' health care, then we, what we should do is go to those employers, tell them how important it was for them to encourage good, healthy habits amongst their employees uh, because it would uh, I- improve their productivity but also save them a lot of money because uh, they may be able to avoid uh, serious complications from, from illnesses that they may have known they've had or, or didn't know they had. So uh, we decided we would do that with several of our companies, and we have. Uh, but we, in order to do that, we had to do it ourselves, right? Uh, we couldn't. We couldn't go to a company and say, "You got to have a wellness program." If we don't have one ourselves, so, uh, and and we've had quite an active wellness program in our own company for the last uh, three or four years. Have you seen anything dramatic in terms of results for any of the employees? Uh, yeah, we've had some dramatic examples. Uh, one fellow uh, uh, employee. Our associate uh, brother uh, passed away suddenly, and uh, and so he he was motivated to get involved in uh, in a wellness program. Has lost a lot of weight. Uh, his uh, blood pressure and everything is d- doing much better. We've had a couple of other um, individual uh, associates who who recognize because we got them tested uh, to identify uh, health uh, risks, we were able to get them to change their diet, get involved in some exercise. Thanks for joining us today on Greater Good Radio. For more information or a transcript of today's show, please visit us online at greatergoodradio.com. 
This is your host, Evan Leong and Carrie Leong, saying please join us next time for another episode of Greater Good Radio Hawaii.